Hello and welcome to Selenium XPath tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the XPath access methods preceding and preceding sibling. So we have learned a lot about the access methods in the previous tutorial. So this will be the uh, last tutorial where, wherein I am covering preceding and preceding sibling. Um, I, I understand that there will be a lot more complex situations wherein you will have to do a lot of permutation combination of using these methods and the techniques that we have discussed in this tutorial series. So please feel free to experiment and explore. And in case you need any help, just drop a text or a comment uh, in the tutorial series and I'll add the solutions to the XPath that you are having issues finding in. So let's start with the preceding and preceding sibling and understand what these methods are. So preceding is the method that selects all nodes that appear before the current node or the context node that you are referring to in your HTML DOM structure. So, and the format is very similar as the previous uh, methods that we have used. So relative XPath, tag name, attribute of that particular tag, any attribute could be class value, uh, class name, ID, and the value of that particular attribute. And then two forward slash preceding, uh, that's the method name, uh, two colons and the tag name. Similarly, preceding sibling selects all the nodes that have the same parent. Now, uh, as it was uh, for, for uh, the following and the following sibling, it's same for the preceding. So preceding sibling uh, will select all the nodes that have the same parent. If you say preceding, what it will do is it will select all the nodes that have that particular tag in the HTML DOM structure. But preceding sibling will look for the same parent and select any preceding elements or nodes that appear below the context node that you are using. The syntax is almost same. Um, you just replace the preceding with preceding hyphen sibling. Now let's understand, let's uh, do these XPath with preceding and preceding sibling to understand how you are going to form the XPath using these two methods. So let me open Chrome and here you can see that I have already opened the XPath search window and we have already covered following and following sibling in the previous tutorial. Now with the preceding, what we need to change is simply, so for example, this is the option or here is the parent, so the select element that I have chosen and then this is the option that I have selected below that parent. So let me just change this option to star. So basically what I am saying is any tag in this particular page which has the value as developer okay and you can see that this option has been selected okay i can also instead of just saying star i can simply specify the tag name as option okay and then two forward slash so this is basically um preceding so what what we'll write is preceding after the two forward forward slash so we'll say preceding and then two colons and the name or the tag name okay so what web elements or what elements uh, we want to find out that are preceding so i'll just say option okay and now you can see there is just one preceding element and there are no other option tags in this page and that is why there, there is only one element that has been selected okay now if i say preceding sibling so i'll just change it to sibling it will still return that same element because with preceding sibling what i am saying is i want to select the web elements or the elements that have the same parent okay so in reference to this node which is the the second node the parent is this select name okay and preceding node is only the select or disabled your job role right in the drop down so if i change this developer option to administrator then there will be more preceding sibling nodes so now you can see one two and three nodes have been selected 
right to explain or make it a bit more clear or to show you the difference between the preceding and preceding sibling let me take this option value okay so in the option value i'll say as okay so that i can refer to different option nodes that are present in this particular html dom and i'll change it to preceding okay so now as soon as i change it to preceding then you can see that because for this node the parent is this select name with the user country okay or id country but with the preceding option i can figure out or i can find the options that are not the direct child of this particular parent so that is why all the options in the page which are preceding to this particular node or the current node that we have selected as as will be selected so all the uh, six nodes here plus one two three four nodes here so you can see total 10 nodes have been selected let's traverse through those right and that's it right so these nodes have been selected now if i change it to preceding sibling what i am saying is just select the preceding nodes as in reference to this current node which is uh, which has the value as as which have the same parent so basically it won't go to the other nodes that are present on the page which are these nodes and it will choose only the option or the nodes that have the same parent as this reference node and that's what the difference is between preceding and preceding sibling in selenium xpath access method so that is all about the preceding and preceding sibling the other uh, important thing is you can also use the options here so for example uh, attributes for the option so for example i want to select the node uh, us okay so i'll simply say add the rate value is equal to us and in that case it will select that us web element with preceding sibling method which is the access method and return that one particular unique value on the page you can see one of one is selected so there are a lot of uh, combinations that you can do with all these methods that we have learned in this tutorial series uh, i hope the whole series has been really helpful for you in case you are stuck with the complex expats please feel free to drop me an email um, comment in the video section or post in the collaboration section of um, the the channel and i'll respond to you with the solution for the query or i'll create a video with an example of the queries that you will submit so thank you very much for watching the series keep learning keep growing